So when I actually got the car, it was worse than what I expected. The floorboards uh, were totally rust. There's basically holes that you can actually put your foot right into it. The engine was really bad. Uh, the gearbox had problems. The interior was all, seats were all torn up. So Dominic bought a classic car on eBay, but what car did he actually buy? The Mercedes G-Wagon, short form for Galando Wagon, was Mercedes' first SUV. The car was not actually built by Mercedes, but by a company called Pooch in Austria. The idea of building this car was actually suggested by the Shah of Iran, who persuaded Mercedes that it could outdo its competitors by Land Rover, Toyota and various off-roading vehicles. So without further ado, let's start this episode. Hi, I'm Dominic, Dominic Sial. I'm actually a hairstylist by profession and also I'm a home chef and I actually do private dining in my house. And this is my daughter, Simora. Hello. We both own a G-Wagon and it's born in 1985. So I received a phone call from a friend who is living in Moi. Uh, he told me that uh, he found two G-Wagons that was in storage and it's a very old G-Wagon. He asked me whether I was keen and interested. My friend Arthur and I uh, decided to go to Moi and to actually look at the cars and we saw the cars, we liked it and we actually gave a deposit and we bought the car. So what happened through the procedures, we found that the papers of the two cars were not proper. So that would hinder importing the cars to Singapore. So because of that, uh, we forgo the whole deal and we actually lost our deposit. After I told my daughter about it, uh, we were both disappointed. So then uh, I went on to eBay and I actually found the car on eBay. It was an a, a interesting journey getting this car on eBay. First, the car came out for £8,000. It was a bid, so the highest bidder would get the car basically. I sent in my bid at £8,000 and uh, I actually sent an email to the, to the owner saying that I'm from Singapore and I really want to import the car. I think that triggered the price um, in a way that uh, Towards the end of the bidding session, the price surged up higher and higher. I managed to secure the last price, the last five minutes of the bid, and I, I got the car at a crazy price that uh, it's very expensive. <laughs> yes. Later on, uh, what I found out is that uh, from my friend in UK, he says that um, I think what I did was wrong by calling the, um, the owner and actually telling him about me wanting the car in Singapore. I think what he did was he monopolized the whole bidding system and he himself keep bidding the price and me trying to bid higher and finally he gets a high price. Yeah. So I kind of feel a little bit kind of disappointed, but end of the day, it's satisfaction. Yeah, we have I the car, would, it's fine. Yeah. The feeling was really great, we're really happy. But at the back of my mind, uh, I always wonder whether it w is it a genuine advertisement and whether the bid really went through. But I heard of some people who actually bid for cars and actually the cars uh, didn't turn up, as in the bid wasn't genuine. So at the time when I, when I got the bid, it was mixed feelings. Said, yes, I got it. Mm, until it comes to Singapore, then I'll believe it. So the car was actually a barn car. So what do you mean barn cars? It's been probably left in the barn for a long, long time. It's never driven or never taken out. Condition was really bad. They, they, they had to transport the car on a low bit. So from there, they had to stuff the car in the container and brought the car to Singapore. So when I actually got the car, it was worse than what I expected. The floorboards uh, were totally rust. There's basically holes that you can actually put your foot right into it. Um, the engine was really bad, uh, the gearbox had problems. Uh, most important, the interior was all, seats were all torn up. Uh, it took us nearly about a year and a half for the full restoration. The G-Wagon um, that I have, which is the 280GE, it shares the same engine as the W126280S. So, uh, parts for the vehicle is easy. Um, it can still found on eBay, but some parts that I have brought in 
was actually from Europe and was meant for left-hand drive. So when the parts came into Singapore, we couldn't use them because some of the engine parts were very, very different. So when we got the car, uh, the next thing that we were, we were thinking about is how do we do it up? What colours, what interior? He let me have a choice. I had the whole idea of black on black. Like the, the interior was going to be black or the rims. I mean, yeah, they're black now, but... He changed his mind, he wanted checkered. I wanted the interior to be as original as possible. So I managed to find original Mercedes-Benz fabrics from Turkey. Unbelievable, but a guy in Turkey had original materials and uh, I imported that in and I actually restored it to checkered seats, which is very retro. Going into a classic car, opening the door, sitting in the car, the smell of the leather, the smell of the seats, it's just a kind of smell that it's very hard to explain, but it just brings back memories. During the time in the 80s when I was in national service, I seen many of the uh, off-road vehicles. They're either the Land Rovers or the Mercedes 460. Even to today, I understand that uh, the Singapore Army still keeps this car. When the death of uh, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, the G-Wagon was actually the car towing his uh, carriage. It's the original W460 and the condition was immaculate. The Army really kept the car. There's, yeah, there's always a sense of like nostalgia attached to like old things, even though I was not even born in the era. When we see it, we see the amount of fun they have in general. Like we see how enthusiastic they are. And I think the feeling is also transferred to us, even though it's just by watching, even though we don't experience it firsthand. We have a record player because I did think it was really cool to have one. It's really different from listening to music on your phone. Like the feeling of the nostalgia will be attached to a certain era. It's the same thing as hearing music, digital music on MP3, but people are also buying records. Same as cameras. Cameras are digital today, but people are still wants the old school feel of a film because film is totally different from a clear digital picture. It has a lot of warmth. Same thing as classic cars. You start the car up, you don't drive it off straight away. You have to wait for five minutes for the car to warm up before starting the car off. There are certain things that have brought us together, like have set our differences aside. Besides like the record playing, it's really fun because he introduced me, he taught me how to, he taught me how to use it. Same to when it comes to the car. He gets very enthusiastic when it comes to explaining to me about the different parts. This is how I know how the car is like waterproof, how it's a 4x4, how it can go on many different terrains and all this information came from him. So I think that's how we bonded as well. I really think that getting this car and the record player was a really good idea because it helped the both of us to understand different points of view from different generations and different years. Thank you for watching another episode of Zeng TV Stories. Want to know more about classic cars? Click the link in the description below. If you have a story you would like to share with us, feel free to drop us a message on our social media platforms. Also, do subscribe and share as it helps our channel grow. Thank you once again and we will see you on the next episode.